Okay, I'm going to have a look at 2014. There's two questions here we're going to look at from the C2 paper. Question 1A and question 5. Question 1A says you've got this sequence here. So it's starting off, the top line is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And the bottom line are your squared numbers. And the question is asking you, part 1, write down the next term in the sequence. So it's just going to be 7 over the next squared number, 36. Part 2, 2, is find an nth term for this sequence. Now, number 1, first term goes to 2, the second term goes to 3, the third term goes to 4. So the nth term is going to go to n plus 1. The first term is 1 squared, the second term is 2 squared, the third term is 3 squared. So the nth term is going to be n squared. Part 3. State whether it converges, that means it goes to one number, diverges, which means it, it does it gets further apart, or oscillates. So if you put in say n equals three, you get four over nine. If you put n equals a hundred, you get a hundred and one over a hundred thousand. So what is happening there, the number is getting smaller and smaller and smaller each time. So it converges. The next one we have to look at in this paper is question 5. And I scroll down to find it there, sir. Question 5. And it's talking about a GP. So for first thing we'll do is write down the formula for GP. So UN equals A, R, M minus 1. And Sn equals A, 1 minus Rn over 1 minus R. And it is saying the first term is 100. So A is 100. The common ratio is 3 fifths. Part 1, quite straightforward, is looking for the 16th term. So just using your term formula. So U16 is A, R, N minus 1. 16 minus 1 is 15. And if you work that out, you should get the answer of 0 0.0470 to three significant figures. The next part of the question there is find the sum to infinity. So part two, again, that's just using your formula. Sum to infinity is a over one minus r. So a over one minus three fifths. And if you work that out, you should get an answer of 250. Now, part B, prove that the sum of the first n terms is that formula. Okay, so let's give ourselves a wee bit of room here. So, and GP starts off first term, the next term, the next one, just multiply by R each time. The last term in a GP is A, R, M minus 1. So the one before it is A, R, M minus 2. Now, for a GP, you multiply each of these terms by R. So a r, the standard learning here is just we need to be learned off a r m minus one, and multiplying this by a r, you just left with a r m. Draw your line, subtract. So s n minus r s n equals. Now, whenever you're doing a subtraction, if you go a r minus a r a r squared minus a r squared, it knocks off this way, leaving you an A on the top, take away A, R, N the bottom. Factorise out your S, N, 1 minus R, factorise out your A, 1 minus R, N, bring your bracket over to the other side, and you have proven the formula they want.